guys, welcome back to this next video. My name is Janelle and I upload every Sunday morning everything revolving around makeup, skincare, and lifestyle. And in today's video, I wanted to do a first impressions on the new Makeup Forever foundation. So I did pick it up at Sephora and it is the HD Skin Long wear um, undetectable true foundation and i did get the color in 2y36 and i used to love the makeup forever foundation that they had in the like stick tube where you would just like roll it out and just apply it onto your skin it would leave such a natural finish and it did have a long wear as well as um, it was like medium to almost full coverage. So when I saw that they launched this new foundation, I had to try it. First of all, the packaging is amazing. It's right up my alley, it has neutrals. They did also expand their shade range to a lot more uh, different skin tones, as well as they do have the three different undertones. So if you're more rosy pink, if you're more of a yellow gold, and also they have natural finish. So I do have a little bit more of a yellow golden undertint to my skin. So that is why I did gravitate to that little 2Y, which means like yellow or golden. And so let's, it does come with a pump. It is glass as well. So just be careful, clumsy girls like myself, just make sure when you are using it that you place it very well on your countertop and it doesn't fall over. Before we go in with the foundation, I am going to apply my skin prep, which is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Like I said, I am clumsy. Oh, I absolutely love, love, and adore this moisturizer. It moisturizes your skin so well, but it also acts as like a primer right before you're about to put on your makeup. So I will pump some of the foundation off onto the back of my hand. And as you can see, it is a little runny, but it's not that watery. And the cool thing about this foundation is that it is waterproof. So if, you know, you wanna go on vacation like now spring break and you are you want more of that coverage before you go let's say to the pool or you have a bachelorette party coming up and you want to wear it to the pool by all means you can wear this and it is waterproof it will not they say that it does not go anywhere so we are going to put that to the test And I know that this does not look like it color matches me, but I do apply self tanner. So this does, when I bought this, it did um, match to my skin, to my skin when I was tanned with the self tanner. So I do have to say from off the bat, I really like it. It spreads out beautifully and it really feels 
like just your skin. You don't really feel the foundation on your, like laying on top of your skin like other foundations. And let me just grab a mirror so that I can see what I am doing since I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, so I really, really like this foundation. I have to say the way that it just lays on the skin is so beautiful. I feel, well, why don't we try it? Let's see if you layer a little bit more on, if it will give you a little bit more coverage. The other, the stick foundation of their formula did do that. And it does. I mean, it really like lays on like a dream, I have to say. So I will be putting on the rest of my face and wearing it for a little while. I have some stuff to shoot for my Instagram and then I will come back on and show you guys how it kind of wears for the next couple of hours. Okay, stay tuned. Hi guys, so I'm back and here is my finished face after a couple of hours wearing the foundation. I did shoot, I changed into different outfits and I can truly say that it has stay Put. What I do, oh, there's a little hair. Um, what I do like about it is the fact one, it does not transfer on to your clothes and it feels just like your skin, but better. And a couple of other facts about the foundation is that it's an ultimate flawless second skin effect and it does have like a high blurring effect with it, which I can attest to it. I can't really see any of the little pores that I have, like around my nose area, which we all have, as well as it's a buildable medium to full coverage, which I can also attest to that as well. Uh, if you really only want like a light, um, you know, like wash onto your skin, you can apply like a very light, even layer and you will still have like your freckles and your skin kind of peeking through. And if you don't want any of that and you want more of the full coverage, you can just put on another uh, layer and it will build up to a full coverage foundation. It does say that it is high resistant on the skin as well as it's a 24 hour long lasting, waterproof, sweat proof and mask friendly. So I, for this video, cannot attest to whether if it's sweat proof or mask friendly, I will have to report back to you for that purpose. But I can say that I, um, unfortunately I was watering some of my plants right before I started shooting for my Instagram and I did end up like spl splattering some water on my face and I just kind of like blotted it off and the foundation did not go anywhere. Um, I did not use like any setting powder. The only powders that I did use was under my under eye just to set my concealer as well as like in the crevices of like my nose where I put concealer and then my bronzer and blush 
besides that, like my forehead has only my bronzer on it and this, like my T-zone area, there is no powder. And you can tell that the foundation really it settled in very, very nicely and it's not settling into any like little fine lines and it's not like creeping or anything like that. So on a scale of one to 10, I really would say that I would give this like an 8.5 to nine on how much I recommend it. I will be, you know, testing out more of the other, you know, aspects of it, of like sweat proof and also mask friendly to see if it does actually transfer onto the um, face masks. But until then, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Comment down below any questions that you may have that I didn't answer in this video. Subscribe for the future upcoming videos and I hope that you guys enjoy being a part of this little family group that we have going on here and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until next time, bye guys. Yeah.